This video will be demonstrating how to properly save a file from the BDI to your own computer. In order to do this, you must plug in a USB into your computer before logging into the BDI. As you can see on the right hand side here, the USB is already plugged into this computer. Once you've done this, you're going to go ahead and open up the VMware Horizon client and log in. This should look the same pretty much the same on all computers, although they will look slightly different depending on what kind of computer you have. As you can see, it is opening up the UCC computer. Once you are in, it's gonna show all the different applications. Remember that each of these applications, if you need to save them, you will need to save them to your own computer. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and use Microsoft Word. Once I'm in here, I'm just going to go ahead and open up a blank document. And for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be typing in a short sentence. That way it is easily recognizable once I save it. Note that it says VMware video instructions on how to save a file to your personal computer. Once you're done with your document and you're all done and ready to save, go ahead and to the top left corner and press save, then go ahead and press browse. On this little tab, it's going to show this PC. Double click on that. It will pull up a drop down menu under this PC. Scroll all the way down to find network drive Z. Do make sure it is network drive Z as this one will be the best one to save to your personal computer. Once you're done with that, go ahead and press save. The saving process will take just a few seconds as it needs to completely save properly into your USB. As you can see here, it is complete and saved. This means that it should have gone onto the USB. It is important to understand that everything that you do within the VDI will be deleted if it is not saved properly. Using a USB, ensures that it will save to your computer properly. If you do not use a USB and you do not plug it in before starting the login process of the VDI, then it is possible that you will lose all work. So please make sure that everything you do within the VDI, you save it onto a USB or use another method. Right here, I'm going to be showing you how it has saved within the USB which also will be able to be pulled up on my personal computer. On the left hand side, it is showing the VDI. On the right hand side, it is showing my personal computer finder. As you can see on the top right there, it does say VMware video instructions. And on the left side, you can see as well that it says VMware video instructions showing that both on the USB can log into the VM VDI along with my personal computer. This makes it so I can save work from the VDI to my personal computer.